Life is all about perception, positive versus negative. Whichever you choose will affect and more than likely reflect your outcomes. Says one of the amazing quotes. Hello listeners, welcome to yet another interesting episode of the podcast Giridhar's Gardi with your host Giridhar. Today, we have a spectacular personality on the show. A teacher of English, public speaking coach and mentor, soft skills trainer, technical writer, information developer and even lyric writer with proficiency over Telugu, Hindi and Urdu languages. Proud to say that I was one of his students when he was the public speaking mentor in an institute. Calling everyone by their name instead of sir or madam is the first thing that we usually learn in a corporate environment. But you would be surprised if I say that we learned this from him a few years ago even before joining the corporate. An influential person by chance and an inspiring person by choice. He is welcoming the guest for today's episode, Sri Ram. Hi Sri, welcome to Giridhar's Gardi. How are you doing today? Hi Giri, I'm doing perfectly awesome. What a nice time to join the show uh, on a Christmas day. <laughs> Great. So just one question Sri before we start. Uh, how do you feel like being a guest on this podcast? This gives me especially an amazing uh, experience, uh, Gri. And I'm very fortunate for having uh, this first ever interview of my life on such a show that uh, one of my beloved students is a host of. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Sri. In fact, I'll be, I'm pri- privileged now to have you on this show. All right. So, Sri, tell me, what is this perception of life all about? To start with, uh, I would say perception of life is all about just take it easy. Don't stress too much on your life. Go with the flow. These things might be sounding like uh, the quotes from Google, but not. It's something like I have experienced. Whatever you do in your life, whatever that comes to you as an opportunity, just welcome it, embrace it and love it to the fullest possible. Put whatever the best you can do in the profession you have chosen, in the opportunity that has come to you. And that's how you're going to blossom in the career of you know, whatever the profession you choose, because now career has its own definition uh, in all aspects, in every field. So just to climb up that rung, you really need to be very optimistic. Just go with the flow. That's what I want to say. And these aspects, I believe, have so far never let me down. That's good. So what is the role of our perceptions in the day-to-day life? When it comes to day-to-day life, our perception forms the very foundation to the building uh, in the activities you know you perform in the day-to-day life. Dreams are like a lift, you know. Uh, uh, the lift here, here I mean not a lift that you take on a road, but it's something in a building to the highest floors. You get ahead, and it's just that you have to choose the right button to get there. And this perception always comes from your uh, real-time experience as well. The people around you that help you make a bright career. Okay. Uh, Earlier you were saying about the opportunities. Uh, So let me put my next question in this way. Uh, How are these perceptions related to the opportunities? Perceptions are basically, as I said, you know, the foundation, first of all, a person, an individual should have a dream uh, in his life and tell himself that he has to do something. For example, in my life, I never, uh, ever loved computers. I used to think, what if computers were not there? Still, there was life earlier. It existed. People were happy. They were together. But then today I feel when I get to this software industry, computers have become the bread and butter. 
so the perception at one time that computers has nothing to do with my career and then the perception today i have about computers this world altogether is totally different so perceptions are something that keep your decisions in life flexible you have to start with your life projects as they come to you accept the things and people as they are and as they come to you you never know the form in which an opportunity can get to you and take you to the lucky doors you have always dreamt of at one point of time you may not think or you may get confused i should say that is this opportunity i have always thought of and then yes you come to a juncture where you have to take a decision and that decision always comes with a risk for example as you said in the introduction while talking about myself that i used to be a soft skills mentor right so at that time i used to have a wonderful colleague uh she used to be one of my co teachers so uh, one afternoon she comes to me and says shiram uh there is an excellent opportunity you have such good skill set english language then why not why don't you explore yourself your communication skills that you always use with us to enlighten the students who always aspire to get into the corporate world why don't you just hang out with them spend a few hours and tell them like what is the beauty of this language and then i thought would that be a risk should i be taking that and all together computers just jump into my life students jump into my life together both of them have almost you know made me to do some sort of a circus i had to mix and match a lot of things play with those 40 psychological case studies in the class and then help them you know get into their uh, careers that they have always aspired of so i say sometimes perceptions can be adventurous and you really love being part of it i mean that's life you have to get with it that's it you don't have a choice there <laughs> Uh, that's true shri i agree with you uh, in fact you brought a all together a new perception or idea over here uh, because when you said about the computer example uh, it's really something that everyone can uh, correlate with easily and the idea that you want to uh, drive uh, here is something new and different okay so uh, how does these perceptions affect the outcome of an incident in my view it's always a success as i i told earlier a perception an opportunity a risk a decision they all go together and once you are there you you start loving it you start putting your full potential into that and there is never looking back of course failures sometimes maybe because it's also an inevitable side of the success right there are two sides of a coin either you, you just flip it and then there you are whatever comes to your bucket one lives with a lot of ecstatic moments a delight of being an example to others the other lives with a mind blowing experience of how not to do the things and then you never know what's in the light you know that has to present it to you in my case most of the times i felt life as a miracle the kind of an educational background i have the kind of experiences i have the kind of people i have met every time life itself has shown miracles more than god can do that's what i strongly believe and you should be ready to accept the gift with open arms embrace it accept it get inspired and set aspiration to take yourself into the next bigger much bigger orbit we are not a planet like it right we are just revolving around the same orbit 365 days happy new year happy christmas happy diwali happy holi this is not all the life we are human beings super brains 
you always need to get into the next level of your orbit see what's there explore it and have the people travel along with you and whenever you get to a point just one moral aspect i have always taught myself not to forget the people who you have traveled with if possible take them along with you because the bliss of getting along with such people is inexplicable something in our life so are the people that have traveled along with us and that perception brings a sense of responsibility and with responsibility i don't have to say comes accountability and there you are so that's what i think about life wow that's amazing sri okay now let me put my next question uh, in this way it's all together a different thing uh, now the level of perception that you have determines the quality of your life says one of the quotes what's your say on this yeah that's a that's a really nice quote i don't know where you get all these quotes but uh, uh, i think i'm even at this point of time i'm getting a lot of inspiration maybe tomorrow is going to be one of the brightest day of my life <laughs> i'm going to implement this and i completely agree to this quote i feel one should be the visionary of one's life because i am i am the master of my own life and the karma or the deeds that i do they definitely have a reflection back so i always think higher the horizons bigger the picture clearer the view right you just can't stand on a building and look around and say oh is this my township looks like or is this the play where i place where i stay looks like so what do you have to do you have to always fly a, a little bit higher take an aerial survey of the place to enjoy the beauty of the location and that's what we have recently being you know got used to this 4k 8k tvs they started using the drones and showing us a spectacular Uh, scenic beauties that exist on this earth similarly when it comes to the perception you know i would like to uh, just take a pause here and uh, you know uh, uh, just get some example here before i joined one of this uh, uh, leading organizations that i am currently working with most of the people they have dissuaded me saying uh, are you sure you are going to join this Yes. so we haven't heard any positivity no hikes no career growth nothing it just your life is going to be a stagnant pond would you want to do this really then i just stepped back thank god we have internet today and i have a couple of friends that always that who, who already got attached with this uh, this giant company and then i started exploring the pros and cons the events and odds my own experience correlate and then i thought yes i have to fly above this negativity just like an eagle see what sort of opportunities i can explore here because i know the home i live in i know the kind of amenities and facilities i have made for myself for a comfortable living then i know that i have to work here i know this is kind of opportunity i can create i know my strengths and weaknesses so it's always you know the perception that determines the quality of your life is the way you communicate with others you correlate your experiences with theirs and start building a beautiful structure of relation and interpersonal relationship in an organization towards a harmonious work culture i mean there's a turn of it around it and how do you beat it to pieces only when you perceive things in a matured way than others to you it may look like six but on the other side where i am standing it is nine but again i have to come back to you and understand why it is six to you because it is where you stand and the way you look at things so this is how the quality of relation also can be improvised that's what i think uh, very true sri uh, can't agree more than this 
Uh, all right. So far, uh, we have been discussing about our thinking and also the mental aspects with respect to this perception. Uh, so let me get into the physical aspects of it. Like uh, my next question, uh, what is the role of fitness on these perceptions? We are very much acquainted with this code. I am wondered, uh, you have not uh, no, turned out... Uh, 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 this very quote in your question now, like a healthy mind in a healthy body. And the whole world is currently facing, you know, a kind of dire situation in this pandemic. I thought of not bringing this keyword pandemic because now people are almost getting used to it. And uh, it's like they have started a live-in relationship with this pandemic. But again, when you have a healthy mind, according to some studies that have uh, earlier actually pushed me into this world of fitness, it said that a person who is who has the habit of uh, getting into fitness aspects each day has a memory capacity of five times more than a person who is who does not. Right. So. For example, uh, I do some yoga, I do, I do some gym, uh, I, I go for running. Um, I keep my body sound and healthy. The immunity goes strong. A healthy mind is, the, is that all optimistic here. And when I was being treated, I would like to mention here in the, in this March, you know, the physician says only one thing. Just forget about everything. Be positive, and it has been proven that a positive person has always got. I'm not talking about corona positive here, it's about a mental positivity, the way we think about our immune system, and the way we think about fighting with some parasite that started, you know, uh, invading our immune system in the body. You have to think, yes, I can do this. And it's apparent that being positive plays an important role for body-mind coordination, first thing. I've never been, you know, I, I aspired to be on some stage along with the Olympians. Here, when I say Olympians, I am talking about some bodybuilders, but I, I could never do it. At least I'm close to it somewhere. There were failures, for example, but these failures, uh, now I will get back to your question once again, the role of fitness on the perceptions, the perceptions about your life, the perceptions about your fitness. I have been a drastic failure in gym at least a couple of times with uh, left with a uh, no, spondy, severe spondylitis uh, attack due to heavy weight without any training and uh, a broken ankle and whatnot. But then I rose again, I joined the gym and here I am, if you see any of my, you know, I don't know if it can be mentioned here or not, but the WhatsApp status, it is flooded with all my Instagram handles, Twitter handles, Facebook uh, stories are flooded with my gym activities. And how is this related to the perception of life? If I come to that point, then this is how I feel. A failure and again rising out from failure towards success. And that's how I deal with my life. By God's grace, by, as they say, God help those who help themselves. I have explored every opportunity that has come to me, put my complete potential in that. Uh, probably the success rate is more when I say, when compared to the failure rate. And that's how I relate this fitness, perceptions, life, miracles, all this together. Superb, superb. Uh, one major takeaway from your story is Sri, that you didn't give up at any point of time. So may it can be your fitness or may it can be with respect to the opportunities that come your way. That's amazing. All right. So now uh, let me bring a new perspective here. Uh, let's say uh, we have a, two different perceptions on uh, is on, on a sim single thing. So what is the effect on communication when the perceptions are different? Fantastic. I really like this question. 
in my previous uh, uh, one of these previous responses as i said to you it may be 6 to me it may be 9 you might be looking at a shadow i might be looking at the face itself so this is how i have to connect your my point to that of yours and your to that of mine the maturity and experience in life yet decide how you perceive things in life also about how you communicate with people around you that's a skill and why there are these swamps of institutes around why i have been uh, taking a lot of soft skills courses why i have i used to you know get into a set of students and uh, talking about the soft skills and communication skills so that's where the maturity and the compassionate behavior of a person comes into emergence right i mean it like something that you like a lot to eat you might like pizza burger and all and with my fitness goals and all to me that's a kind of calorie accumulator so i better restrain myself contradicting your eating habits i cannot just go ahead and say hey giri how could you do this and why would you want to offer me all this it's your birthday and you offer me something i oblige it and then that's why i communicate non verbally that i really like being with you i really am delighted to celebrate your happy birthday along with you the one of the most important days of one's life right instead i can if possible build a rapport starting some nutritional facts that are beneficial to your health every food item it has its own nutrient values maybe i can start building a communication i can start building a dialogue with giridhar yes giri pizza i just love it once in a day i can make your birthday my cheat day what's in there but i cannot just go and negate negate your thoughts negate your uh, festivity at that moment so this was just an example but end of the day our communication i feel should be a way to bridge across any gap made be in in terms of thought process in terms of action towards each other or in terms of building a stronger bond a healthy relationship an interpersonal relationship at workplace or a friendship between yourself and myself so communication is where it's just like i always believed like every person has a kid in himself and a kid is a master of ego i always attempt to keep my ego and attitude at home and then start communicating with the people and that's where i remain as a neutral person and whatever you feel like talking to me whatever i feel like saying to you it goes as easy as that a cake walk in building effective communication yes very true sri uh, once we keep our ego aside life becomes very smooth okay so my next question is all about your personal experiences of course you have shared some but yeah if you would like to share any of you, uh, other your other personal experiences with respect to this perception of life that can inspire us then please then you can go ahead yeah exactly um, uh, there are like hundreds of examples i can share but uh, one of these uh, common examples i would like to share not in much time here is ever since we have this e-commerce apps in our hand ever since we have a boom of social media a kind of revolution they say but when they say they talk all about a positive revolution the fast means of communication but on the hinder side i see a con that has developed uh social media has become a backbone of a lot of psychological disturbances or disorders these days people have developed a sort of uh, frustration levels you order something either 
you start tracking the object and become impatient each moment each minute each day and then the moment you receive the package you start checking the quality leaving a feedback most of the time it goes you know uh, negative and this kind of a feedback this is a communication and this feedback is a perception a kind of wrong assumption sometimes i should say it impacts a lot of lives uh one easier example i would like to say is to understand the hassles of for example the food delivery agents right uh, recently i have seen uh, a lot of cases like that uh why don't you just order place an order anything well in advance why do you want to do it at 11th hour when you are about to break into a short temper out of your hunger and why would you want the person uh, to call the person again and again and then you know burst on them or why don't you just understand he might have stuck somewhere there might be traffic hazards is after all a two wheeler you know that, that might have any sort of you know technical issues right so most of the time i feel like leaving a negative feedback about the people who are otherwise called your hunger saviors is like is is gives me a reason to give a second thought on how it could be if you be a little bit positive you know sometimes tipping them off when they have really uh, saved you dying out of hunger in a you know when there is a downpour when a heavy rainfall the roads are not good you might have seen a lot of manhole incidents but yet they are so courageous to drive all the way you are home deliver food to you you know like bring that smile on your face and so that's what we need to be thinking so one of these personal experiences uh, they not been so good when i was along with my friend and like you know i have seen an altogether a different face mm-hmm. i've never like uh, uh, thought of like uh, how <laughs> he could be <laughs> so you know uh, negative about a person who is offering such a great service so i feel uh, uh, we need to be uh, a bit more positive towards uh, uh, this kind of social media handles when you are when we are using them think a bit uh, get into the shoes of other person and then start jotting anything down rather than jotting whatever that comes to your mind yes that's correct only if we place ourselves in others shoes we will be able to understand their perspective yeah uh, so shri uh, tell me uh, now what is the impact of this perception of life on the society as a whole each single drop makes a mighty ocean so an individual's perception definitely impacts the perception in terms of a society we used to learn this in our uh, higher section i still remember that great lesson where he says on saying please so what a wonderful lesson what a wonderful author he was he in short if i have to put it as a one line summary the author says sorry please excuse me these are the very words wonderful words of english language that form a grease to the rusted bearings of human communication right so this is where we have to understand the perception of each and every individual if one stops forceful application of one's perception on others and takes a moment to understand way the pros and cons of others perceptions that moment will kick off the beginning of a mature society where every individual will think about common good in every deed he or she does recently we had this example you know like uh, pets are banned in most of the societies in apartments and 
uh, one of the residents he brings up the matter again and again in the society and there's a lot of whatsapp communication that goes fill the discussion that happens a couple of people exiting the group due to this a uh, rotten kind of communication and then there comes out a wise person who calls for a meeting and then in that meeting he brings up an example of i was like wondered about the uh, after listening the, to that example i was like, like literally wondered can that ever be happen so what he says is the only motto of not having pets in the society is just because to save the lives now i started thinking how could this save a life then he start saying in one of these areas at his hometown uh, one of the guys gets a pet and this pet happens to make an undesired visit to his neighbor opposite door and that neighbor uh, unintentionally kicks the pet somewhere in a delicate place and it breaks last so what happens next the pet owner he bangs on the head of the neighbor and the neighbor is no more no where is this going so this is how he says do we really need to take each other's lives just for the sake of a pet just for the sake of difference in perception of life or towards the other living organisms around we really don't and then it was a miracle everyone who opposed the rule of not having pet in the apartment and everyone those who always thought of not having pet in the apartment both of them they had their wonderful perception towards this point so i feel a, a wise thought for a moment it definitely changes the perceptions of people of the society and this is how the great leaders our national leaders even during their time when they fought for our independence i i think i might not have lived that time but they definitely might have exercised on this perception of life and brought every individual every society onto one string had them aboard and sailed the very boat of freedom to its shore so this is how i see when i sit relax and see how perception can make miracles and how it is strongly connected it has a uh, you know connect uh, between an individual and a society and that's what i feel i agree wow that's good uh, sri everyone can connect with the example that you have told here okay uh, lastly just one message for our listeners with respect to this perception of life yeah i'll take this as a one liner of the entire uh, perception of um, life from my end is think beyond wisdom pursue beyond negativity respond with compassion and perform with passion and yes don't forget fitness goals wow uh, that's amazing uh, sri thank you so much for that amazing message to our listeners all right so now it's time for us to move on to our next segment that is the rapid fire round uh, let me tell you that this is just a fun segment you don't have to uh, think much you will be given uh, set some set of questions in which you can select uh, i mean with two options you can select either one of the option or both or none uh, so it's up to you are you ready yeah great uh my first question to you sri in the rapid fire round writer or developer obviously writer <laughs> okay uh bollywood or tollywood hmm this is tricky but 
I'll definitely aspire to be in Bollywood. <laughs> Great. Uh, mobile or laptop? Uh, no strings attached. Laptop. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, do you think that it is flexible? Maybe I feel mobile is flexible to use. It sounds rather like my wife always with me. <laughs> <laughs> laptop stays where it is in its limits okay okay uh, saturday or sunday sunday monday <laughs> okay uh, coffee or tea i would rather love tea uh, being you know brought up in north india but uh, with all my fitness goals now i am completely on to black coffee oh that's good Uh, okay amazon or netflix flix or net sounds good so netflix <laughs> okay a uh, bike or car i always love to balance myself on a bike mm mm-hmm. okay a uh, morning or evening i love sun when it's calm in the evening okay so you want to go with evening yeah yeah okay okay uh job or business business okay great so my last question three in this rapid fire round in fact uh, the most favorite one let's let's see what you are going to say giridhar or sri ram hmm it sounds to me like a host or guest if there is no us there is no guest <laughs> so uh, also i i know what sri ram is so i would like to know more what giridhar is so it's giridhar ah uh, that's so sweet of you thank you so much sri this is just in line with what you have said earlier thanks a lot all right uh, so thank you so much sri uh, for being with us on the show today we look forward to having you once again on this podcast in future thanks to you to giri uh, it seems that uh, i have taken a moment to explore once again myself with the help of this podcast i really appreciate the way uh, you have put this uh, together and uh, yeah of course even i look forward to being once again on this wonderful podcast spending lovely time with you thank you so much thank you sri thank you so much once again for being with us All right. So that's the end of the episode for today listeners. I'll be back with another amazing guest next week. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. See you.